one of the questions I wanted to ask you was how you control your emotions, whether it be in business or in life, and how you manage the stress that comes within both aspects. Is there anything you do in particular that helps you navigate through that? Yeah, that's a phenomenal question. That is something I have to work on every day. Um, I believe everybody, I don't care who they are, Tony Robbins, they could be Ed Milet, they, this is its work. Uh, Seth Godin talks about this in Lynchpin. Our amygdalas are a tripwire. Mm -hmm. And our those brains are from like, you know, millions of years ago. And the tripwire is fight or flight. So we really have to be able to take that response from a fight or flight response and push it forward to the next step, which is our midbrain. And our midbrain is basically looking at the relationships to could be the, the relationship it is or really the deep meaning to it and then push it to our neocortex and our neocortex comes down to problem solving. So what we need to do, our bodies are so designed to, to save energy. So they get a look at our fight or flight response. And we have to be able to lean forward and push into it saying, do we, can we, what problems can we solve with this? So I face this all the time. So what do I do about it? I, I focus a lot. And, and the common theme here, just talking to Danielle, is control. So I did a podcast on this. I did a YouTube video on this, is that you have to have non-negotiables in your life. You have to have daily non-negotiables. My daily non-negotiables are my morning routine and my evening routine. What I mean by that is what creates turbulence for us if we don't have a good takeoff in the morning or a good landing at night, okay? So if you look at um, people that have a fear of flying, um, usually it's a bad experience and it's usually from a bad takeoff or bad landing, but that affects the whole flight. Like, you know, we have a bad, lots of turbulence on, on, on takeoff, the whole flight, someone's like this, you got white knuckles the whole way. So we have to control that. So what I do there, is I, I, so I'll, when I wake, I'll give you an example. This morning I woke up this morning, um, you know, first thing I did, I, I, I called a mind dump. Um, and what it is, I take a notepad and I'm part of Tom Bailu's Impact Theory Group. And some of the suggested is you wake up in the morning and all you do, because your brain has gone from a conscious mind to a subconscious mind. Wake up in the morning, do not touch your phone, do not touch anything. Grab a notepad, start writing. Whatever's in your brain, it could be positive, it could be negative. You could say Mark Smith's an asshole on it. It doesn't matter. You just do a complete mind dump. And what you do with it, you've now um, unpacked what was in your head. Okay. Then what you do is you take that piece of paper, tear it, put it in the garbage. Don't even look at it. All you've done is simple mind dump. It's now your brain, your, your mind should be at peace now because you did in this mind dump. The next thing I do is I take my gratitude journal. Okay, so I write in my gratitude journal and I use the one that uh, I don't have it here. I do it all downstairs, but basically it's a gratitude journal. It's called the five minute gratitude journal. I picked up from Amazon. I think it's like eight bucks and it actually is guided with respect to your gratitude. Then I do that. Then I focus on affirmations. So I put my affirmations out there. Okay, so and I write down my affirmations and I read them out loud. Then I do my visualizations. I close my eyes and I'm actually visualizing. I can visualize my day. I visualize my goals. So I'm, as you can see, I'm going down these layers. Then I'll read. Okay. So I will read. I'm reading. I, reading is a non-negotiable for me. From reading, I'll try to do some level of exercise. Now, there's going to be my off day. So today is an off day. So I didn't do any exercise. Then and only then I've done all of these things. And I've also done my meditation there. Sorry. At that point, I've had that, that soft takeoff. Now, whatever hits me on my phone, it's controlled. Okay. See, what happens is, is when people, when we grab our phone first thing in the morning, we've been in a, such a calm path all night. Subconscious mind is working and doing its thing. We're grabbing our phone that has more technology than the Apollo 13 that went and hit space how many years ago. And it's like basically putting your mouth or your face to a fire hydrant with water. So we have to really control that. And then throughout the day, you're going to have more of that, of, of that balance or control and focus. And then what I do is I do my, my landing. So I do the opposite. So my cell phone's never in my bedroom. I keep my cell phone charged outside the bedroom and I do the reverse. So the last thing I'm doing as I'm, as my, I'm my closing my eyes, I'm going through those exercises. If I have to take notes, I'll put them on a piece of paper. I've done my gratitude journal. I'm reading and I sleep like a baby.